We are here at the Citrus Bowl in Orlando, Florida. It's a brand new day of bowl championship playoff games here on this Saturday morning. It's the Oklahoma Sooners and the Houston Cougars. Kevin Sumlin versus Bob Stoops. Two teams that were eyeing a bowl game a little bit closer to home, but two teams that came off with some really devastating losses to close out their season sent them both here to Orlando, but the fans still made the trip, and those here in the Orlando area came out to see what is sure to be a high-powered, high-offensive game between the Sooners and the Cougars. For Houston, this is their second trip ever to the Bowl Championship Series. The only other time they were here, they were taken out in the first round by Texas. For Oklahoma, this is their fourth trip in five years to the BCS playoffs. Every year they've been here, they've made it to the final eight. They've made it to the Elite Eight. They've never done any worse than that, and they've never done any better than that. Oklahoma is hoping that they can get past the Elite Eight for the first time in history. But to do so, they're going to have to get past that man, Case Keenum, the sixth-year senior, who is hope hoping to end his collegiate career on a high note after ending his Conference USA career on a low note, losing the Conference USA Championship to the Southern Miss Golden Eagles. And they'll be in action later today as they take on Heisman Trophy winner Robert Griffin III and the Baylor Bears. And we are underway here in Orlando, Oklahoma, and Houston. Again, the Sooners, we've talked about this a couple of weeks here on some of our preview games, trying to go through and continue their season without star wide receiver Ryan Broyles, who's been injured. And Landry Jones uh, didn't do too well in that Oklahoma State game, and perhaps that's uh, without Ryan Broyles, that'll, that's kind of why the team's been struggling a little bit. Tanner Gillette caught that last pass, and now they're going to run the ball. There's an opening. Down to the 50 for the Oklahoma Sooners. And that was run by Roy Finch, who's in there for the injured Dominic Whaley. Dominique Whaley. So the Sooners are trying to overcome a lot of injuries here. And also trying to bounce back from a really bad loss to the Oklahoma State Cowboys just two weeks ago. Landry Jones can't find his man, so that one will fall incomplete. Second down. Well, wait a minute. We have a booth review. Ed Hockley Jr., son of head NFL referee Ed Hockley, looking at it again. And indeed, well, he had one foot in, one foot out. Let's go to Ed Hockley. The play is going to be reversed. They had one foot out, but one foot was in, so the catch will stand. Second down and one. Roy Finch takes it again. And up to the 35-yard line for the Sooners. And they're really driving on this opening drive here at the Champ Sports Bowl. Citrus Bowl in Orlando, Florida. Landry Jones is going to scramble, and he gets five yards on the run. Second and five. You really don't see that from Landry Jones too often. And Jones to the near side and incomplete. Referee was right there to make that call. Foot was, and we're going to take another review. All right, well, the referee was right there. Let's see if he missed the call. One foot out, one foot in. Referee was right there. How do you miss that? That catch is good by Trent Rattery for a Oklahoma Sooner first down. A second review that had to change it. Man, how do you miss that if you're the ref standing right there? Landry Jones completes the pass, making it a first down and goal. Landry Jones... Hooking up with Kenny Stills, the sophomore. And the Sooners are moving down the field at ease, but as soon as we say that, down goes Landry Jones 
He is going to be sacked by Houston Cougar Sammy Brown, the linebacker, the senior linebacker from Wiggins. From Wiggins, Mississippi. Brown gets in there for sack number 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. That's sack number 12 on the year for him. Second down and goal now for the Sooners. They're backed up a little bit. Screen pass from Jones. And he threw that one out to Jazz Reynolds. Third down and goal now for the Sooners. Lined up in the pistol. Four wide receivers set. Jones heading to the end zone and knocked away. Almost intercepted. So the Cougar defense stands tough. And that one was batted away by Zachary McMillan. Sophomore from Missouri City, Texas. And the Oklahoma Sooners will have to settle for the field goal. And Michael Honeycutt will put it through to give the Sooners an early 3-0 lead. And there's Boomer. Pretty excited about that. But for Oklahoma, you got to take your sevens while you can, especially against Case Keenum and company. We're going to see if the Sooner defense can remain as tough as the Cougar defense did there late while Houston was driving. It'll be the Cougar football first and 10 at about the 19 yard line. Dino Collins with the return and here comes Case Keenum, the all time leading his quarterback in yards, throwing everything, every stat, this guy's got it. And they're going to start with an option play. It's a unique choice of play to start things off on the Sooners. It didn't work for them. Second and ten. And now they run the ball. It's going to be a three-yard gain for Cougar running back Charles Sims. So third down and seven for Keenum. They get the call from Kevin Sum Sumlin. There's been a lot of talks about Sumlin and Texas A&M, but they got to block all that out right now. And that one's going to be thrown incomplete by Keenum. So the Sooners will force a three and out on this Houston Cougar offense. And that's a big moral victory for them. And they can force a couple of more of those out on Keenum. They'll find themselves with a victory, and they will find themselves moving on to round number two. Awaiting the winner of this game is Oklahoma State, the Cowboys. Could we see the Bedlam rematch? Or will it be Houston and Oklahoma State? And for that matter, Oklahoma State, who came off, they barely got the win over Arkansas State, 20-10. to That game came down to the wire before the Cowboys were finally able to pull it away. Landry Jones trying to move the ball. He's got it down to a third down and four. Just about at midfield. Jones has nobody in the backfield. Five wide for Landry. Open receiver. First down and more. Completes it. And here come the Sooners with the no huddle. That one was into the hands, I believe. Might have been McCain. I could be wrong. They move so fast on the no huddle, it's hard to get a number. They're at the 35-yard line. Landry Jones, end zone completed. Touchdown, Oklahoma Sooners. Jazz Reynolds with the reception. Threw it past two Cougar defenders. Three, in fact. We have three surrounding Jazz Reynolds. Touchdown, Oklahoma. It gets no easier than that drive for the Sooners. 35 yards. Honeycutt will put through the point after attempt, and it's 10-0. And now the Cougars are going to have to put the pedal to the metal and try to make up some ground. We know it's possible. We saw West Virginia down 21-0, bowl all the way back to overcome Wisconsin, the Little Caesars Pizza Bowl, and win that game. This is a far way from it being 21 and that's going to be a nice start for Keenum and company. They're going to get the ball at the 29-yard line. 
Less than a minute to go here in the first quarter in Orlando. Quite a few fans made the trip out here to watch this game at the Champ Sports Bowl. Keenum. First down for the Cougars. The no huddle offense, this quick paced offense of Keenum and the Cougars. Another throw across the middle. That one's going to go incomplete, though. The receiver couldn't hang on to it. Man, he got lit up. He was looking for EJ Smith. And Smith just took a vicious hit, hit the ground. So second and ten. Both of these teams, again, were eyeing bowl games closer to home, but two losses to close out the year sent them all the way to Orlando for the Champ Sports Bowl. But still a really nice bowl here in Florida. Case Keenum heaves it deep. Incomplete. Double covered was Smith. And he couldn't get it in there. So it'll be third down and ten. Gutsy effort, though, by Case Keenum to try to get the score. Incomplete. That one is going to fall incomplete, and the Sooner defense will hold one more time. This is starting to look reminiscent of the Southern Miss game where the Houston offense was not able to get out of first gear and they had some good plays on that drive but it stalled out for them one more time and you can't make too many of those mistakes against Oklahoma they will make you pay Bob Stoops and company hand off to Roy Finch for an eight-yard gain that was a really nice run by Finch. Ball's now at the 21-yard line. Landry Jones takes it out of the pistol. Completes that one to about the 30, maybe the 32-yard line. They're going to mark him down at 32, 33-yard line. And they're going to get one more playoff before the end of the first quarter. Throws it out to Roy Finch. And Roy Finch is going to hit, get hit, and be tackled by Houston Cougar Kent Brooks and that'll be the end of quarter number one. It's Oklahoma 10 and the Houston Cougars 0. We've seen plenty of upsets in the Bowl Championship Series up to this point. And I don't know what would be a bigger upset. Would it be Houston? I mean these two teams are pretty even when you think about it. Houston with just the one loss. Oklahoma they've got the three. Three losses. Roy Finch will take it again, looking for the first down line, and he can't quite get there. Third down and two. This is going to be a run play. Look at how the line is stacked. Obvious run play. Roy Finch barreling forward. Isn't going to get it. Fourth down and inches, and the Cougar defense will hold. Obvious running play in that situation. Design run and the offensive line couldn't block and that punt was nearly blocked. The ball will roll into the end zone and that's where Houston will take over. Third drive of the game for the Cougars. They've yet to make it past midfield. They are hoping for that on this drive, trying to cut that Sooners lead down. Hand off to Sims and Sims is going to go down. Racing into the backfield was Tom Worth. Breaking, bringing down Sims. Second and 13. Keenum with his receiver gets down to the 23 yard line. Second, third down and two. And on third and short, we got five wide. Keenum, first, no, he drops it. Oh, man. Wide receiver Tyron Carrier dropped the pass, which would have given the Cougars the first down. You can't have mistakes like that if you want to try to move on in the Bowl Championship Series. Kenny Stills will bring that one back. 
It'll be first and ten for the Sooners. Ball at the 35. Landry Jones is the pick that one up off the turf. Jones completes it. And that's going to be down to the 30-yard line. Wish I could tell you who got it. Couldn't get a number on him because they're going with the no huddle. They're moving so quickly. Jones is under center. To the sideline they go. Getting the call from Stoop. There's the handoff to Roy Finch. And Finch will pick up three on the carry. Second and seven. Three wideouts on the far side. Keep your eye up there. Now they give it to Finch. They tried to go to that far side and it didn't work. As Stills can pick up the block on his man. And that's Kenny Stills' job to be able to get the block. He didn't do it. So Finch will lose his three yards that he had gained on the previous play. It'll be a third down and ten. Jones. End zone. Oh, yeah. Touchdown, Oklahoma Sooners. Jazz Reynolds for a second score of the game. Way too easy right now for Oklahoma. Racing to the house. And the Sooners will take a three-score lead over the Cougars. And the kick is good. Oklahoma 17, Houston 0. And now Houston has a lot of work to do. Especially on this drive because they're going to have the ball at the 15-yard line. Well, maybe a more generous spot than I would have given him. <laughs> They're going to get the ball at around the 18 for Case Keenum. He's pressured. Gets it out to Sims. Sims breaks free. And it's going to be a five-yard run for the running back. On second and five, Keenum gets the first down. Ball is now at the 30. Keenum will take it again. Completes it. First down, Cougars. They're starting to roll now. Now at the 42, trying to get to midfield for the first time in the ball game. Incomplete. Threw that one into some bad territory. That was triple covered. Second and 10. Ball at the 42. We got about 229 to go here in the second. Keenum's going to run with it. And he fumbles and he puts it on the turf. That's Oklahoma Sooner football. A rare run from Case Keenum. That's perhaps why he doesn't run that often. Uh, as soon as he got hit, he let it go. Jamarcus McFarland forced that fumble. And the Sooners could really make the Cougars hurt if they can drive down the field and extend the lead. Screen pass by Landry Jones. Overthrows his man incomplete. Brings up second down and ten. Gives it to Roy Finch. Finch has an opening. There goes Roy Finch all the way to the end zone. Touchdown, Oklahoma Sooners. 23 to nothing. The Sooners are running away with this one on the Houston Cougars. Beautiful stiff arm by Roy Finch. And he wrote the rest. Touchdown. And the Sooners could be well on their way to their fourth Elite Eight appearance in four tries. We're getting ahead of ourselves. They still got to finish this game out. 
and then they'd have to go through the number three team in the nation, the Oklahoma State Cowboys. Case Keenum's going to have two minutes, three timeouts, and another opportunity desperate at this point to get any kind of points that they can up on the board. To give credit to the Oklahoma defense, well defended any time a Case Keenum pass is made and completed. The Oklahoma defenders are right there for the tackle. I mean, it's just been well defended. Keenum pressured, he's able to get rid of it and complete. Muttering under his breath right now is Case Keenum. 0 for 3 on third down conversions for the Conference USA runners up. First down Houston. Great poise. By Keenum in the pocket, just waiting, waiting, waiting. The offensive line gave him plenty of time. Fresh set it down. Keenum down the field, has a man, single covered, incomplete. Knocked away by uh, Harris. Brings up second down and ten. Keenum firing again down the field. Open wide receiver, and it's complete inside the 20-yard line. Got it out there to E.J. Smith, the senior. And now the Cougars are in business at the 18. Incomplete. Oh man, that was almost picked off. Aaron Colvin was looking for the pick. Second down and 10 now. Five wide for Houston. This is where they shine. And Keenum will throw it short. Good enough for five yards. I believe Trey Franks was the one that brought that in. Or not Trey, excuse me. Looking at the wrong, uh, wrong thing here. That was, uh, well, well, wait, well, hang on. We got a lot going on right now. We got to go to the ref. Fifteen yard face mask. That sets up Houston comfortably at the five. To Sims. Touchdown. No, that was not Sims. That was number 29, Michael Hayes, with the run instead. And the Cougars are on the board. Kevin Sumlin's team. It took them a while. But they got in there for Hayes. Touchdown number 12 on the year. He leads his team in rushing touchdowns, and they're going to go for two. Case Keenum completes it. Two-point conversion is good. Hooked up with his wide receiver, Teron Carrier. And it's 24 to 8. Cougars get two more of those. And I mean touchdowns and two-point conversions. We're all knotted up. For Case Keenum. 5,099 yards passing this year. 45 touchdowns, 5 interceptions. I mean, those are Heisman kind of numbers. But now onto the field comes Landry Jones. They found their lead cut down to 16. Jones completes in for Houston. They need their defense to, to play hard and not allow the Sooners to, to make plays happen and, and increase the lead. They want this comeback to happen. It's going to be another first down. Every first down moves the chains and temporarily stops the clock. Green pass for Jones, and he throws it right to the Cougar bench, incomplete. That'll bring it. That'll take us to a second down and ten at the 44-yard line. Less than a minute to go here in the first half. It's been filled with plenty of offense, as promised, as advertised here. The Chance Sports Bowl. 
Jones. So much time completes it to Roy Finch, I believe. So it'll be third down and six. No huddle. This player's got to run all the way back. Landry Jones looking for it all incomplete. Cougar defense holds. And when you give the ball back to Case Keenum with 20 seconds and two timeouts, it's almost like giving the ball to Case Keenum with five minutes to go. Because he can do wonders with that. I mean, essentially, a 22-second drive with two timeouts for Case Keenum, it, that, that can be extended for minutes with the way this offense moves. Instead, they're going to run it, but, oh, look at the play call worked out, though. Sims is able to pick up the first down. They're going to use a timeout, so the play call works. Easy 10 yards. Keenum fires to his receiver, and that's going to be grabbed. So here comes the no huddle trying to save that last timeout. Can they get one more play off? They are going to do it. Keenum throws it deep. Incomplete. Two seconds to go, so they'll have one final throw. On the third down and four, I'd have to guess five wide receivers. They're going to go with three of them. Or no, four of them, excuse me. Keenum is going to go down. He is sacked. Can't get that one final throw off. He's going to be quarterback sacked by McFarland. That's going to be the end of quarter number two. Heading in to the locker room. It's a 16-point game. Oklahoma 24 and Houston 8. Let's send it up to the guys up in the booth. Reese Davis, of course, the Flu Holtz, Mark Ney. And we'll be back with the start of the second half here in Orlando. Welcome back to the Champ Sports Bowl. It's the Houston Cougars and the Oklahoma Sooners as part of the first round of the Bowl Championship Series, the final day of games of the first round here on Saturday. And we're going to look at game tracks. Oklahoma Sooners, they started off on a fury. 24 unanswered points. Jazz Reynolds led that rally, followed up by Roy Finch with a big touchdown run. But after that... Case Keenum was able to take his team down the field and get the two-point conversion and make it a 16-point football game. And they're going to start the second half off with the football. An opportunity to chop the Oklahoma lead down even more. Keenum throws it wide open, wide receiver. He burns the Sooners. That's going to go all the way. Touchdown, Houston Cougars. First throw of the football game of the second half. Case Keenum hooks up with Justin Johnson for the touchdown. That is Justin Johnson's 12th touchdown of the year. His longest previous 61 yards. That definitely broke it. It took one throw for the Cougars to find the end zone. And now to line up for the two-point conversion. No, they will not. They're just going to kick the field goal. So why, I don't understand why go for the two-point conversion the first time if you're just going to kick it the second time. It's a nine-point game, Oklahoma. But wow, you got to be impressed. That's how good Case Keenum and these Cougars are. I mean, it's not the quality of opponent that the Houston Cougars play. I mean, they are that good. Now the Sooners unexpectedly coming onto the field a lot quicker than they would have planned. We'll see if that comes to affect Landry Jones at all. The shirt isn't going to affect Roy Finch, and they're going to get a bonus 15 yards. They're going to call Marcus McGraw on the penalty. And that quickly, the Sooners find themselves in Cougar territory on just one play. The Houston, uh, Oklahoma answering back. Screen pass. Landry Jones 
out to Kenny Stills, and they're going to lose two yards on the screen. Second and 12 at the Cougar, 45. Landry. All day to throw, and wide open, and what a way for the Oklahoma Sooners to answer back to drive down the field at ease. They are inside the red zone. First and ten. Looks like an obvious run right now to Roy Finch with the way the line is stacked. Well, they're going to screen it to Roy Finch. An even better play call. He's pushed out at the five. Second down and four. The line is stacked again. Keep your eyes on Roy Finch. There's the F, exactly. They went to him and the Cougars were right there for the stop. Third down and five. Give it to Finch, no it's not Finch. That's gonna be a touchdown though nonetheless for the Oklahoma Sooners. That was Brendan Clay. And the Sooners answer right back, and now they're going to go for two. Brendan Clay who backs up Roy Finch. Touchdown number two on the year for Clay. Incomplete pass to Kenny Stills. It's a 15-point football game. Oklahoma 30 and Houston 15. Oh, okay. I thought there was a fumble on the play. I got a little excited. Well, it took Case Keenum one play, one throw, to get the touchdown on the last drive. Let's see what he does on this drive. Keenum hits his receiver. Six yard, or a four yard pickup. Back up in shotgun. We got three wideouts, two backs in the backfield. In the call from Kevin Sumlin. Hand off. Stopped at the line. That was Sims. Brings up a third down and six. Not going to make it. Not going to be enough for the first down. That was Sims with the reception. And he gets tackled, so fourth and two, and the Cougars are forced to punt it away. Ball will be fielded at the 25 up to the 30, and we won't get any further than that as Kenny Stills. Landry Jones, again, all day to throw it. He hooks up with Stills for six yards. To take us to second down and four. The draw play to Roy Finch. No, they get it. They gave it to him. They gave him the first down. I didn't think he made it. Another completed pass for Landry Jones. I'd like to see his numbers coming up so we can get a stat on him because I think he could be well almost up to 300 yards passing on this game. Down will go Landry Jones though on that stack. Big number 99 on the Houston Cougars, Dominic Smith, defensive lineman from Houston, Texas. Playing for his hometown college. Third down and 10. Jones, pressured again, just heaves it up there. Incomplete. Well defended ball by McMillan. Takes us to 4th and 10, so the Cougar defense will stand tough. 
once again on this drive. Time is starting to become of the essence right now for the Cougars. They need to put some successful drives together if they want to find themselves back in this game. That's a really good... No, it's not. It's going to go out of bounds. I thought perhaps he brought it in in bounds and he didn't. That would have been a really well start. Really good start for the Cougars. A few more of those. and They can find, be finding themselves in good position. In case Keenum... There's a good, good play up inside the 45 yard line they'll have the ball at the 47 for first and ten to Sims a sh short little pitch play out to Sims and we're into Sooner territory first and ten at the 40 30 seconds to go in the quarter. It's a 15 point lead for Oklahoma over Houston. Keenum with all day. Gets it. Oh! Breaks the tackle. Breaks away from the tackle. Justin Johnson. Breaking away. Gets down to the 25. 20 seconds to go here in the quarter. Keenum. End zone. Looking for it all. Incomplete. I think I saw Sooner go right through the wall. Like that Major League Baseball player that tried to catch the fly ball went right through the wall. That's how much passion and energy is being used on this game right now. Walls are being destroyed. Second and ten. Really high snap, but Keenum fields it. Wide open receiver down to the 11. One more play, maybe two. Here, left in the quarter. Out to Sims. No, it wasn't out to Sims. That was uh, tossed out to Michael Hayes. And it fell incomplete, so second down and ten. This has been a really well drawn out drive. Michael Hayes. Immediately tackled. He was tackled on the play by Tom Wart, and, well, we got one quarter to go. 15-point game, and Houston is knocking on the six-point door. Looking to add to their score and cut into the Oklahoma lead, and they're going towards friendlier directions right now, going towards the big red Houston end zone. Keenum throws it incomplete. Oh, I think I saw the referee go down. This is how brutal and intense this game is. Fourth and 13. This has the potential to be the season for Houston. Five wide receivers. Keenum towards the end zone. Incomplete. Incomplete. Had an open receiver in the corner and he couldn't find him. The ball was batted down. And Roy Finch with the run for the first down. And now it's clock game for Oklahoma. On first and ten. They're simply trying to drain the clock out. Because they know how well this Cougar team can move. They're also going to try to do things like that. We're going to have another booth review. Jazz Reynolds, one foot down again. That should be a good catch. Yes, indeedy, the play will stand. Thank you, Ed Hockley Jr. Roy Finch. Going to pick up three on the carry up the middle. Second and seven. Football at the 45. It's 
screenplay. Cougars are right there for the stop. They threw that one to Jazz Reynolds. And uh, Kent Brooks was in on the tackle. Third and eight. Landry Jones goes down. And there's, there's life. There's a pulse right now. The little green light just spiked for the Houston Cougars. They still have a shot. Three forty remaining in this one here in Orlando. The Champ Sports Bowl. You'd have to believe, man, if Keenum, you hate to dwell on the past, but if Keenum could have scored on that last drive, all it would have taken was one more drive here to make it a ball game again. Instead, you're two away. Keenum will find Sims. Seven yard run. After the catch, second and three, Keenum rarely, he's up under the center this time, drops back, intercepted, oh man, that should seal it, that should all but seal it. Here's the handoff to Roy Finch. Houston might start thinking about using the timeouts here. And it looks like we are we are dead ahead. Full steam ahead for Bedlam Part 2. Oklahoma and Oklahoma State. I think that little machine that spiked, I think it just went back to a green flat line <laughs> after that interception. Now the Cougars decide to use one of their timeouts at 2.16 to go. Pitches it out to Roy Finch. Great block. Finch cuts inside. First down, and that will kill... About 120 more seconds off the clock. Houston will use their final timeout here of the game. Roy Finch takes it one more time. It wasn't Roy Finch on the run. It was one of the receivers. A little wide receiver end around play. 2.03 to go. Here in this one. End zone. Touchdown. Oklahoma Sooners. Trey Franks with the score. The sophomore wide out. The Sooners will increase the lead 37 to 15 on the six yard pass from Landry Jones to Trey Franks and that is Franks first touchdown of the year. It's all about padding your stats at this point I have to believe for the Cougars and for Case Keenum and what will be his final collegiate game. Try to go out with a score, get some points. Keenum, look at this heave. Interception, oh, that's disappointing. That is disappointing. Single coverage and Honestly, a well-thrown ball and just a really weak 
effort by EJ Smith not to knock it away. And for Oklahoma, as we say, it's it's clock game now. Roy Finch has done a wonderful job rushing the ball. Landry Jones has done a wonderful job throwing the ball. You add that all together, and that's where you get a 37 to 15 lead. And getting ready for Bedlam number two, and with the way that Oklahoma State played against Arkansas State, I don't know. Oklahoma State could could be resting on their morals a little bit, and they might they might get upset in the return game. That would send the Sooners to their fourth Elite Eight in four tries. How amazing that be for Bob Stoops. I know he wishes that stat would be four national titles or four Final Fours, but maybe this will be the Sooners' year. Who knows? Losses to Baylor, Oklahoma State, and Texas Tech this year. That will do it here from Orlando. 37 to 15. A gutsy effort by Case Keenum and the Houston Cougars. But in the end, it's the Oklahoma Sooners who will be moving on. We have the rematch. The Bedlam rematch. Oklahoma versus Oklahoma State. Here's your play of the game and Chances are, because Oklahoma State will get pick number three of the second round bowl. We already know that LSU is electing to take on Georgia in the Chick-fil-A Bowl. Chances are that game might be the Alamo Bowl, which would be a rocking dome, a rocking crowd. Landry Jones, player of the game, 246 yards, three touchdowns. Played well today, very well. For Case Keenum, disappointing way for him to end his collegiate career. But it will be the Sooners that will be moving on. They get a rematch. We we know that LSU will be in a rematch with Georgia. That'll be at the Liberty Bowl. Well, they just said Chick-fil-A Bowl earlier. I apologize for that. It's the Liberty Bowl they'll be playing at. And Oklahoma will be playing Oklahoma State, but we don't know what bowl. If Alabama wins, well, then we'll know because they'll get the next... Oklahoma State will get the next pick. If Alabama loses, Oklahoma State will get pick number two. And it's all but assured that they will take the Alamo Bowl. I think we can pretty much assume at this point... It'll either be the Alamo Bowl or I guess maybe the Sun Bowl. Could be either of those two games. Well, taking a look at your final highlights. And now some final snapshots. And before we take a look at the brackets, it's all speculation at this point. We're going to take a look at the final stats. And please wait. I've never had that pop up before. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Taking a look at, oh my gosh, I've never had this pop up. All these games you guys have been watching, this has never happened. Landry Jones, perfect day, just about 200 passer rating, 19 to 24, 246, three touchdowns, no INTs, Case Keenum. You take away those two interceptions, that's a great day. But uh, it, you don't, so it wasn't, wasn't that good of a day rushing. Oh man, Roy Finch, 21 attempts, 153 yards, one touchdown. Way for him to pick it up for his team. Sims only got to run it five times, pretty typical in this Houston kind of offense. For the receiving, spread around like they always do. E.J. Smith was the leading receiver on the team with five receptions, but in terms of yards and touchdowns, it's Justin Johnson who led the way. For the Sooners, Jazz Reynolds, six catches, 93 yards, and two touchdowns. And when you look at defense, Tom Wart and uh, Aaron Colvin were their leaders for the Houston team. You had Kent Brooks and DJ Hayden 
Wrapping it all up, we'll take a look at the team stats, hopefully. There we go. Team stats. Oklahoma 16 first downs to the Cougars 11. 420 total yards of offense. 100 plus yards more total offense than the Cougars had. Uh, passing yards, Case Keenum outdid Landry Jones, but it wasn't enough. Third down conversions, very impressive for Oklahoma, 50% on the money down. Red zone efficiencies, 100% for the Sooners. Turnover, zero, big part of why they won that game. Time of possession also outclassed the Cougars, and almost kind of expect that the kind of offense that the Cougars have, but... A hundred more yards just about for Oklahoma over Houston. Let's take a look at those brackets now.